There's some love out, by the way. I don't know if any of the guys over there have their uh, headphones on, but he's getting another shot, and this could be the one that works for him. Friend of the show and former Vikings quarterback Kyle Sloter was drafted in the first round of the USFL draft. He'll be playing in New Orleans. Go get him, Kyle. You're yeah, good for him, man. Dude. The New Orleans Breakers of the USFL. Are you going to watch it, Hawk? When Probably. does that start? Oh. Soon, right? Uh, 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 let me see if it says in this story. It doesn't say. I think you meant to ask when will it end. That's probably Aww. the bigger question. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. It doesn't say. Oh, well. Okay. It's starting sometime this year, apparently. So again, go go get him, again. Kyle. Go yeah. get him. Uh, Corey Cove, uh, Crockle and Rosie. Pasta uh, Bolognese. Uh, ben Lieber. Yep, Pasta Bolognese is here. Pasta had to go. Oh, <laughs> he did. He sure did. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. What are we doing? It's time for a much better title. Let's Again, the game go. itself needs a much better <laughs> title than it has, but that's the whole point of the game is that things have titles, and then before they're released, somebody says, that's a stupid title. Nobody's going to buy that, so they change the name. So these were working titles. Uh, yesterday, Chris, we talked about the end of Arthur. Yeah, I love that mm-hmm. show. And then uh, every, Zach's every, mom posted the picture of Zach dressed as Arthur. So Did you guys see that on Twitter? Did not. Yeah, yeah Kevin Follis oh, has been your, tweeting it. Shocking. It's worth your time seeing so little cute. Zachy Helverson as uh, Arthur. Mm. I can see him in that PBS. little baby's face. You know what I mean? Like That looks like him. I can see it. So we talked about the 25-year run of the, uh, the kids' show Arthur. And it uh, inspired me to... Look up and research the original titles of kids' shows. Oh, okay. All right. okay. These are all kids' shows. Not all necessarily cartoons. Mm. These are just all shows oh boy. aimed at kids. All right. You guys have Sometimes fun. infants. Come on, yeah, you got this, have. Rose. Children, grade yes. school kids. It's just younger people. You used to be a child, Sauce. Yeah, you were a child <laughs> once. Yeah. Uh, okay. Again, how this game works is uh, the computer voice reads the original title. You Tell me what they came up with that ended up mm-hmm. being a much better title. If the room gets stumped, do we go to the call? Oh, We're stumped. At 651-989-5326 or 1-800-320-5326. You win nothing but pride. Right. Well, I'd love to have some of that. <laughs> Y'all ready? Just, just once. All right, yell out your name if you know it. These are original titles of kids' shows. Go. Number one. Crazy songs. Crazy songs. Hawk. Hawk. Looney Tunes. That's right. Oh. Yeah. Good question. Way to go, Hawk. Looney Thank you. Tunes. I like Looney Tunes better than Crazy yeah. Songs. I, actually, I don't. I like Crazy Songs better. <laughs> uh, Hawk leads one zip. Here's number two. Lower the head or body quickly narratives. Lower the Hawk. head or body Hawk. quickly Hawk. narratives. Hawk. DuckTales. That's right. I didn't understand the last part. So Lower the head or body quickly narratives. Narratives. Uh, that's that's good. Good. Yeah. good. Good. Good question. Hawk yeah, I forgot. Dominating. Walked 600 miles. I know. Sharp. Uh, Hawk leads two rip. Max is quiet over there. Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa. Uh, here's you number. You know it's still February, here's... right? <laughs> not this month. Be not nice. this month. Not this month. Number three. Michigan water contamination rocks. Rosie. Rosie. Flintstones. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Maybe my accidental favorite clue I've ever written, because on paper it says Michigan water contamination rocks. It sounds like I'm excited about Michigan water yeah, contamination. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. uh, but oh, that was, that was the original original title for Flintstones. I think they made a, a good choice switching it. Hawk has two. Rosen has one. Here's number four. Employed to find out whether people are obeying official regulations. Small mechanical devices. Hawk. Yep. Inspector Gadget. That's right. Oh, man. Oh, oh, man. man. Good job. This is Chris's category. Yeah. Yeah. Chris yeah. 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 Young Gadget. on, everybody. Thank you. Uh, number five, original TV shows for kids. Feelings of melancholy, sadness, or depression. Pieces of evidence. Feelings of melancholy, Hawk. sadness, no or depression. Blue Pieces blues. of evidence. Yeah. Wow. 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 Man, Hawk. Chris yeah. has four, and we're Man. halfway through. Let's nice go. Job, Hawks. Hawk has four. Rosen has one. Here's number six. Slipped into a drink. Rodent. Baseball locker room. Rosie. Uh, Rosie. Uh, Rosie go. got me. Honestly, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Hawk. 
Hawk. Mickey Mouse Club. That's right. Uh, yeah. uh, I'll give you that. Yeah. No, that's Mickey it. Mouse Mickey Club Mouse. House is what I was looking oh, for. Mickey! Okay. Mickey of course it's a counts. Mickey. Yeah. Uh, nice job, Hawk. Man, look oh. at this. I don't know what's going on. Jesus. Can't you do this in initials tomorrow? No, well? apparently not. Uh, <laughs> you have five. Rosie has one. Here's number seven. 2012 Spider-Man and Pals. Zach. Yep. Garfield? Paul. And, uh, Paul. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Sauce. Yeah. Starfield and Friends. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Zach. Go. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Zach figured Zach. out the tricky part that 2012 Spider Man was Andrew Garfield, but it was Gar 2012 Spider Man and Pals. And pals right. is friends, Garfield yeah. and Friends. Thanks, Zach. Go. You're welcome. Uh, so Sauce got the uh, point. Mickey Zach Mouse got Club. the assist. Yeah, cl that's close enough, though. Uh, look, it's my game. I get to do what I want. <laughs> you do what you want. Uh, Hawk has five. Rosen has one. Sauce has one. Zach has a half, kind of. Here's number eight. Preserve a person's soul from damnation by the end of the round. Oh, Preserve Zach. a person's soul from damnation by the end of the round. Zach. Saved by the bell. That's right. Yeah. Oh, oh, whoa, favorite show. Whoa, whoa, oh, yeah. easy. Wait, what? Saved by the bell. What? Preserve a person's soul yeah, from damnation by show. the end of the round. The end of the round is a bell. Yeah, you Saved threw us off bell. with kids shows. That is a kids yeah, show. It's for kids. No, it's that kids. was an adult show. I, I didn't say like, like, like five cartoons. Year old, it's, it's a kids show. Adult show. Saved by the bell was good for adults too. <clears throat> it was. Is it? It was. Yeah. I was an adult. Can we go uh, to the calls? <laughs> so far, we haven't been stumped. Uh, here's <laughs> number good. nine. Arousing or exciting speculation. Thrones creator. Was the last part arousing oh, or exciting oh, speculation? Thrones creator. Hmm. Oh, Max. What? Yep. Curious George. That's right. Oh, oh, yeah. Let's go, Max. Oh, okay. Curious. Yeah. Good job, Max. Oh, right. Right. I was like, Martin isn't for kids. I know. Same here. Yeah, I'm like, I what, yeah. what is Mar George and Martin, Martin Lawrence? All right. Hawk has yeah. five. A billion other people have one. Here's number ten. Cruz and Seinfeld. Zach. Yep. Tom and Jerry. That's right. Oh, oh, nice. He ain't dead yet. Tom and Jerry. This would have been the tiebreaker if we had gone to a tiebreaker. Hamburger Bun Detail Avenue. Paul. Back. Oh. Zach. Zach. Sesame Street. Yep. That's right. Yep. There you go. That's the only one I have. That's the only one All I right. can think of. And uh, it looks like the room is stumped. So 651-989-5326 yep. oh, no. or 5326 Good morning. What's your name? Hey, this is uh, Tommy Buttercheeks. Hey, Tommy, hey, Tommy Buttercheeks. Buttercheeks. Uh, what's your guess? Um, uh, for no particular reason, I'm going to go with B, C. <laughs> that's funny. No, that's tomorrow, buddy. Okay. Ah, oh, Tommy wow. Buttercheeks gets uh, it. Yeah, that's he's going to hire McVeigh. That's uh, tomorrow at 8.15, the uh, initials jackpot. Good morning. What's your name? Hey, what's up? It's uh, Kevin from hey. Chicago. Hey, Kevin from Chicago. What's your guess? Oh, am I on the air? I don't have a guess. I'm trying to listen to my call and the radio at the same time. I cannot do both at the same time. Nailed it. <laughs> Meat Is sauce. he right? Uh, no. <laughs> Good morning. What's your name? Meat Sauce here. Hey, hey Meat Sauce. Hey. What's up, dude? What's your guess? Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> no, that was, uh, that was not what we were looking for. Good morning. What's your name? This is uh, Marty Damp Chomp. Oh, my <laughs> God. All right, Marty Damp Chomp. Yeah, Rosie, quit calling. Marty, what's your guess? Uh, you can take this one to the credit union. Is it Beavis and Butthole? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The credit union. Uh, good morning. What is your name? <laughs> Hello? Hey, this is Finn Richard. Hey, Finn what Richard. Hey. Uh, what's your guess? Hey, guys. Oh, no. Thanks for taking my call. I think it's Dora the Butt Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> Dora the Butt Explorer. Uh, is he right? No. That's, that's not it? That is not what we were looking for. Good morning. What's your name? Uh, yeah, this is uh, Turd Ferguson. Hey, Turd. Hey, what's up, man? Funny so that name. is a funny name. What's your guess? Fix! <laughs> I, love that. I love that bit. Love Good I morning. Love Good morning. Good morning. What is your name? Uh, this is Bill Musgrave. Oh, hey, oh, Bill. Bill oh, Musgrave, yeah. right on. What's up, dude? Hey, I just wanted to let you know I was listening, and it is adequate. <laughs> okay. oh, thank All right. you, Incorrect. Bill. All right, one final call. You know I was going to call it. No, no yeah. one got the answer right. Uh, what's your name? 
Uh, this is Russell from Rosemount. Uh, Russell from Rosemount. What's your guess? That's my stepmom featuring Brandy Love. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, no, you guys were still no, uh, right. No, he we were right. looking yeah. for no, he was right. Sesame Street. Ah, oh. Sesame Street was the right answer. That was tough. Oh, okay. well. He was right. Okay. So close. <laughs> yep. And and see. Good work, um, listeners. You made yeah. me laugh that time. <laughs> that uh, was funny. Hang on. That was a good category. Yeah, man. Yeah. Hang Those on. are good, Cor. Yeah. I, um, I would like to play a couple of things before it's All too right. late to play them for you, if you don't mind. Sure. Johnny Knoxville was interviewed, as he has been quite a bit. Has anybody seen it besides me seen the uh, new Jackass movie? I've seen it. Not. I've seen it. It's great. It's really good. A lot of penis punishment. Yeah, that's for sure. Bill, not on my bootleg website. I'm very disappointed. (laughs) What about you, Ben? No, I have not seen it yet. Nobody? Okay, cool. Uh, Here's Johnny Knoxville talking about the uh, stunts he will not do. I'm not super fearful of it, but uh, I don't like cold weather or cold water. I've done stuff in cold weather and cold water. I just, it's just a hassle. But the guys do have irrational fears. Steve-O, who will let you put a hook in his mouth, chum up the ocean, and then cast him out to sea to catch a shark with his body. You can do that to him, fine. But we tried to get him to bungee jump once for an episode, and he was like, F*** you, dude, I'm not doing it. I've seen him jump out of an airplane like 80 feet in the air into the water, or he jumps off bridges, does flips off bridges. It's like something that grandmas do. My he won't God. bungee jump. No. I wouldn't either, by the way. No. I'm, not, I'm not. I don't think I would either. No way. Has anybody ever done it? Yeah, I think I would rather skydive than no. bungee jump. Yeah. yeah. Scary. Mm. Yeah. Trust the rope. Um, I'm going to play you this uh, specifically because of the end of it. Listen to what she says at the very end of this. Now, uh, let me set the scene. In Amsterdam, a gunman took over an Apple store. Um, one of his hostages got away, and he took off chasing after that hostage and got hit by a car. And was killed. Listen to the person watching this and the last thing she says. Oh, my God. Did this happen the car? Yeah. Really hard. This is a guy. I don't know if he's dead or just pale. <laughs> or just or, pale? Or just pale. Wow. Or just pale. I don't know if he's dead or just pale. I've heard wow. that so many yeah. times. <laughs> <laughs> you heard that a hundred times. <sighs> He's don't know if he's dead or just pale. She saw him get hit by a car and really hard. Probably uh, option A. Yep. Just a wild guess. We should mention that uh, you were referring to Apple, the computer product, not yeah. a farmer's market. That's true. Yeah. That is okay. correct. Right. That, that yeah, is that's correct. true. Yeah. yeah. Maybe right. not an ideal place to take hostages if they're just trying to buy fruit. Right. You know. So what was it about that one hostage that got away? I don't know, man. Don't you have a store full of hostages? I would think yeah, so. but maybe it's principle. Maybe it's like I want to be the perfect hostage taker. I can't let if one yeah. person gets out, they're all gonna want to get empower out. all Correct. of them to run. Yeah. Principle, <laughs> right? Right. And then lastly, uh, you guys uh, ever heard of a, a bikini barrister? A barista, you barista? mean? Barista, yeah, yeah. yeah. Barista, they're like a barrister who is Jerry Strauss. That's, that's also right. uh, that's also Lawyer Lambert. If you ask him kindly <laughs> enough, yeah, I'll bikini, see him soon. The bikini Rosie, baristas no are uh, are these like coffee shops <laughs> yes. that they serve you coffee out the window wearing bikinis. Yeah, well, it's yeah. a great concept. It's very similar to the car wash right, I ran in the nineties. Right. Sounds like right. a good what idea. What happened right. to your? Do you still own the car wash? Uh, no, I sold it for a massive profit. Oh. Twice actually. Hmm. Uh, what had, happened, though, Chris? Oh. I had three grandfathers die and give me a car washes, three separate ones. Were they in debt? Exactly fifty thousand dollars for three oh, consecutive man. years. Oh boy, Good for you. that's a sad story. It worked out. This is not sad because out of it. this bikini barista uh, gets a lot of gifts from her customers. Uh, tell me your thoughts on this young lady. So I've actually had my couch paid for. It's a bougie couch. My whole dining room set. It's gorgeous. All my kitchen oh, utensils, my groceries, <laughs> an entire projector put into my living room, oh, a whole wall guys. like mirror put in. My customers are lit. That's all I'm saying. Honestly, oh. they'd be taking better care of us than our damn families. Also, before you assume, all I do is make them coffee. I make good conversation. Your girl is interesting. Okay, I'm a fun time. I'm a good girl. Okay. Uh, I guys are really stupid. in my lap. That yeah, was, no that was the yeah. most. That was the maximum oh, amount of time God. I could listen to her without <laughs> walking away. I'm with you. <laughs> That was unbearable. Uh, Play it again. Gorge and bougie. Yeah, a little one more time. So I've actually had my couch God. paid for. It's a bougie couch. My whole shut dining room up, set. It's Just gorgeous. Shut up. All my kitchen utensils, my groceries, an entire projector put into my living room, a whole wall like mirror put in. 
my customers are lit. That's all I'm saying. Honestly, they'd be taking better care of us than our damn families. Uh, also, before you assume, all I do is make them coffee. I make good conversation. Your girl is interesting, okay? I'm a fun time. I'm a good correct. girl. Yeah. No, you're wearing no. a bikini. That's yeah. all of it. No yeah. one thinks you're yeah. interesting. She's okay. going skiing. Um, yeah. No. Let's, can we go back to, uh, you, we talked about jumping out of a plane when uh, the Knoxville yeah. uh, mm-hmm. conversation mm-hmm. was happening. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it made me think of when uh, Johnny Utah jumped out of the plane without a parachute, caught up did. to Bodie. Yeah. Uh, then they, <clears throat> they technically tandem skydive together. They kissed. No wonder you love it. Point is, is uh, that reminded me of heists. That reminded me of thefts. And of course, uh, our yeah. Pokemon oh, bet yeah. is can't believe it. coming to an end quickly. Uh, Tuesday is March 1st. So you guys bet on whether or not the guy who robbed over a quarter of a million dollars worth of Pokemon stuff out of the uh, place in Forest Lake would be apprehended by March 1st. Uh, Sauce, you have March 1st and beyond. Yeah. Chris has... Midnight on February 28th <laughs> or before. Ugh. So that is uh, Tuesday morning. We will be able to settle the bet because uh, March 1st is Tuesday. So far, no, not nothing, arrested. Nothing at all. No. No leads. No so, nothing. So Chris, I just you got about four it. days. I, I got to get a hold of the police department and find out what's going on. No, don't do that. I, I, no, let, I just want to know the for sure that they work. haven't gotten him. Um, they may have gotten him, but we just didn't hear it. No, no we, we would know. Heard the it. listeners would have. Yeah. They may have gotten him, and we didn't well, hear Well, they about might it. not have mentioned it. They forgot. <laughs> it slipped their minds. Yeah, I think you should low. do that. You should march yourself <laughs> into the police department yeah. and just start demanding answers to this investigation. Did right. you catch right. him and not tell yeah. the Forest right. Lake Gazette need, or whatever the hell yeah, it is? Yeah, tell them you need the $100 <laughs> badly. Yes, I do. Say, yeah. I need all of your evidence in this case. I'm going to help you crack it. If somebody knows an update, if somebody that's working the case can shoot Chris a DM on Twitter and just say, like, look, we, we, we're going to find him in the next yeah. four days. Can you give us an update? And throw me a DP as well if you'd like. I don't mind. <laughs> hey, uh, um, Jesus. Because uh, uh, um, uh, Abbott loves us so much. I, uh, we have one minute. Can I tell you guys one real quick uh, uh, television show thing? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, Abbott can't wait. He loves this because he loves, he loves, he loves, loves when people right. watch mm-hmm. TV shows and talk about so it. So there's a, a book series about a character named Jack Reacher. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. I, I've yeah, read yeah, quite yeah, a few yeah, of them. Yeah, yeah. I like him a lot. A he's mm-hmm. a six foot five Marine. Um, Excuse investigator. me. He's a he's a huge. Wait a minute. I don't even know what I would call him. He's six That's five. That's a huge that's bitch. That's what I would call him. Wait, Wait Zach. Yeah, Tom right. Cruise isn't a huge bitch. That's the point. They did that's a, a huge five, bitch. Six. They did a movie and they cast Tom Cruise and it ruined the entire thing. So they rebooted it as an Amazon show. I don't know who the guy who plays Jack Reacher is. He's such a badass. Um, it, admittedly, it's so over the top cartoonish because he kicks people's ass so much. Hell yeah. The second episode of the show, the series. Was was so silly, it almost got ridiculous. The other episodes have been really great, and I'm really digging it. If you want a show where the good guy just beats the bad guy's mm-hmm. A-word over and over again. That's the one. Watch Jack Re- or It's just called Reacher on, on Amazon, Amazon Prime. It's a good show. Right. It's, a, it's a good hmm. time waster, and I'm really interested. Even though I read the book, I'm really interested because I can't remember how it ends. Only look up <laughs> Reacher, though, on Amazon Prime. Don't look up Reacher anywhere else. Yeah, the next yeah. book is called Reacher Round. Oh! Right. So, yeah. No, it's Reacher Hound. It's about his dog. Oh, Apparently okay. his dog yeah, is a right. badass. Yeah. I would definitely Google Reacher Hound. Uh, <laughs> you have. I've seen the trailer. It looks spectacular. Yeah, you didn't make it through the whole trailer. So, there you go. Watch that. That All sounds right. sweet. It's fine. What, what's right. on the podcast, Ben? Uh, well, I've got Fred Bryan. He's a Minneapolis guy. He's a 13-year NFL official. He's an umpire. He's done a couple Super Bowls. Um, ben, a- awesome guy to listen to. Just kind of the inner workings of officiating in the NFL. It's like it's it, it was it was way more enlightening than I. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to cool. undersell him, but I, he was great. He was hmm. great. Check it out. Good. Uh, all podcastable platforms, but uh, let's just go to iHeartRadio and yeah. keep it in the house. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. Rosie, you're an American treasure. We'll see you next week. Look forward to it. We'll see you on Tuesday when the Pokemon Thief bet I, is settled. I can't wait. Uh, ben, we'll see you on Monday with the debut of Marnie Gellner on yeah, Monday. Yeah, that's going to be exciting. Uh, and, of course, initials tomorrow at 815. We're back up to $1,000, back up to four figures for the jackpot. That's tomorrow at 815 with the show, 530 to 9 tomorrow morning. See you then. KFAN. Midwest number one volume Mazda dealer and dealer Raiders dealer of the year now receives Luther.